So in the previous video, we have learned about material UI theming and how we can customize that. So in this video, I want to create something like this button, which will toggle between themes, light theme and dark theme. So let's create that. But before I do any kind of coding, let me introduce you to the paper component. This is kind of special in material UI. It is basically a div with a background color and has some box shadow and you can turn that off if you want. All you need to do is just wrap all of your component that needs the dark theme or light theme by the paper component. So this is what it looks like. Now the color is dark. So if I turn it to the light theme, it will turn into white. If I toggle it again, it will turn into dark. So this is what just a paper component is. So let's try it on our code. So this is where we have left off. In case if you haven't watched the material UI theming video, please check that out. I will put the link on the description and also on the cards. So first I will create another file dark theme.jsx. So again RAFCE for boilerplate component. capital D let's just import the paper component I'm going to need this imports so I'm going to copy them and paste it I don't need the theme interface because I'm not using TypeScript so let's just delete these divs and create a paper component so in here you can put whatever you want let's put a typography component here I'm just going to copy it and paste it here so typography and give a variant of h1 and this is a h1 text I can create another component this time and uh, this time I'm going to give body2 and this is a body2 text so save the file and I will just start the server with yarn dev. So this is our paper component and our text. So if I inspect this component, this paper component has just some uh, box shadow and background color of white, some transition and a font color. Now I want you to take a look at this. The font color is black and the background color is white. And that's what a light theme is. Background should be white and uh, font color should be dark. So the typography by default inheriting the font color from the parent and the parent has that font color of this black color. Okay. So if I turn it to a white, it will become white because typography is just inheriting from the paper component but what is so special about it because when we will change our theme to dark type the background color of the paper component will automatically get changed into a dark color and the font color will be changed to a white color so the foreground color of the paper component will be white and the background color will be dark if it seems confusing to you let me give you a demo so in the code I need to import two things. I don't even need create styles or make styles. They are from CSS in JS and I will be explaining CSS in JS in the next video. So subscribe to my channel to stay updated. So I need to import um, create MUI theme and theme provider. 
so let's create a theme and we need to create the theme inside the function component not outside because we are going to use a hook and we need the hook value in the theme object so const actually let's first use the use state hook so use state and if you don't know use state is it is just a way of doing this dot state or set state in functional component okay so const and we're going to call use state and we are going to destructure the return value so I'm going to call it dark and set dark so this is the state and this is the set state if you are used to class components and we need to give a default value this time it will be false so next create our theme object then create MUI theme pass the object then palette then it has a property called type so I'm going to use a ternary operator if you don't know what ternary operator is um, it is just way of checking in just one line rather than multiple lines let me show it to you um, so we are going to check if the dark variable if the dark variable is false or not so dark we're going to put a question mark that is just indicating that if the dark is true or not if the if it is true then we're going to set the type to dark and if the dark is false then I want to set it to light so if the dark variable is true then we want it to be dark if the dark variable is false then we want it to be light okay and so we need to wrap all of the components by the theme provider component theme provider and if you don't know what I'm doing just watch the previous video and pass the theme prof and the value will be theme but we still don't have any functionality to toggle between two modes so we need a switch so if you go to the docs type switch so switch is a component in material UI you can do some basic switches you can do it with form control level you can check the docs so I only need a basic switch component so I'm going to copy this line inside the theme provider I'm going to insert the switch component it is a self cost component we need to pass uh, let's see um, we need to pass checked prop and unchanged prop so checked and this will take a boolean value so if the value is true then the switch will be on if the value is um, false then the switch will be up so we need to pass the dark state and then we need to give a on change handler on change and pass a function this function will run whenever we will toggle the switch button I want to toggle the dark state value so if the dark state is true then I want to set it to false if the dark state is false then I want to set it to true just the opposite so set dark and every time always the opposite of dark state I think this should do what I want to create um, let's see yeah so let's save the file so this is our switch button and uh, let me just zoom it for you 
okay so let's see if it works see it worked if I turn it off it will be light if I turn it on it will be dark so how it is really working like I said that the paper component is intelligent enough to check if the theme type is dark or light so if I turn it off inspect the paper component where it is so this is our paper component you can see that the background color is white and the font color is black if I turn it on it just reversed the values the color is now white and the background color is now dark so that's how material UI changes the dark theme and light theme now there's a thing that you need to notice that not every component has this feature this functionality only works when whole component is wrapped up by the paper component so there you have it now you can create a switch button which can toggle between dark mode and light mode easily with material ui so that's it for today and in the next video i'm going to discuss about css in js with material ui so hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe.